Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here, and thank you so much for joining me today. We are starting off in the Barrens, and we're going to head out and start collecting some Raptor Heads. We also need to head back to one of the Oases uh, to get some Snapjaw Turtle Shells. And we have a quest to collect 60 Quillbore Tusks, but we've already done so many quests to fight Quillbores that I don't know... I don't know if we're going to complete that quest or not. It really depends on whether or not any more quests have us fighting Quillbores. Because I feel like we obviously should have grabbed this immediately. And then we would have been getting Quillbore Tusk the whole time we did those first couple of quests here in the Barrens. But we didn't, so we still have 60 to collect. We'll see if we end up doing that or not. Already, these raptors that we're fighting for heads are uh, low level. And we outleveled the quest that we had for Plane Strider Beaks, so we're not even going to bother with that. And I think, in fact, we already abandoned it. We did. Uh, but I am going to head out towards this oasis down here. I think there were turtles. We still really need to find a more dense populated area for the raptors. We only see a few on our travels to the oases. What is going on up here? Torin Druid fighting a bunch of uh Fighting a bunch of these centaur, we could help him out a little bit. Not that he really needed it. But he could probably use intellect. It's always nice, and I often forget to do this, but it's really nice if you see a friendly player and you have a useful buff like arcane intellect to cast that on them. Just gives them a little boost, and speaking of that, we could also recast it on ourselves. That would be a good idea as we start off here. Oh, here we go. Here's a level 15 raptor. At least we'll get kill experience for it. And yes, I do remember this time that we have skinning. But it was close. I almost forgot. Alright, well if they are consistent drop rates, um, this should be pretty easy to complete this, but then we're still going to have to find some more raptors out there somewhere. Let's go ahead and make some food and water before we need it terribly. I'm pretty sure that after we finish Raptor Heads, Altered Beings, 
Um, and maybe one or two others we're gonna head back. We'll go back to Undercity, we'll we'll hit up we'll hit up the mage trainer and learn some new abilities that we're kinda hurting for, I think. Specifically, I think we just have another level of conjure water that we really need to get. I think our damage spells are okay, at least for fighting these guys who are many levels below us. Check our inventory, it's actually getting kind of full and it might have been wise of me to sell everything before we left Crossroads. But it's okay, we should have enough space to at least get us back. Some of these are actually higher level. This one's level 16. Sling Dirt. Chance to hit reduced by 40%. Well, it's a good thing we're not melee. I don't think that affects our spell chance to hit. I think that's only our melee swings. It would probably suck on something like the Warrior or a Rogue. But for us, it doesn't really seem to matter. You would think with Line of Sight, you would still need to be able to see your target to cast a spell at it. So you'd think getting dirt flung in your eyes would be an issue, but... Apparently it's not. I do want to get this Briar Thorn over here. And we can check out what level we're at. Uh, herbalism, we still have a ways to go before we have to train either of these again. The good thing about taking tailoring later on is we'll be able to make our own bags as well. And we might actually be able to make some kind of profit selling bags. I really don't know how the economy is in Classic. It's something that I don't have a lot of time to really invest in and check out. I don't think it's anything incredible yet on most servers. I, I don't think we're going to make a ton of gold selling bags or anything like that, but it it's something that could help us later on. Ooh, these turtles are skinnable. I, for some reason, you know, I think I'm just a bad skinner. I, I just don't remember to skin every animal. It's like enough to remember to loot it. I loot it and then I just don't think about it. The body count of like corpses I haven't skinned is probably pretty high at this point. Oh, these are all defeated down here as well. I wonder, someone else must have come through here. Yeah, that had to be what happened. We didn't fight all of these. But we can go ahead and skin some of them. Uh, that's something we can do to make up for the ones that I, that I killed that I didn't skin. We can go ahead and skin these ones. While we wait for respawns.
I feel like this more than makes up for missing a bunch. How do we hurl ice bolts underwater? I mean, your guess is absolutely as good as mine is. Uh, the bigger question is, like, how do we throw fireballs underwater? But we do it because it's magical. Alright, well, that's all the snapjaws that we need. I'm wondering, you know, if we can find more raptors. That'd be swell. I'm just kind of worried that they're just going to be all over the place and not grouped up anywhere. Unless maybe there's like camps of them to the south. We could check that out. Definitely not going to run through that. Let's go over here. Uh, we can almost get all the way up here. Oh, there we go. I say I thought we'd been up here before. Now we can see as far as, well, as far as Classic can render, which isn't that far, actually. Oh, here's a raptor right here. Now oh, we're a little bit too close. Uh, that wasn't close enough, though. We only need four more of those. We should definitely be able to find four more around here somewhere. They seem to just be spread around. Let's um, let's head south and just explore a little bit. We have our hearthstone set to the crossroads. So as long as we find what we're looking for, we can just hearth back. Oh, hi. Did it not seem like even though we tried to avoid him, he just decided to come right for us? And now we have this annoying pet hitting us in the face. Uh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be extremely bad. We might die here just because I can't get any cast stuff. Um, let's pop this potion. Let's freeze him in place. Let's not pull anything else. I'll tell you, that knockback is harsh. I think we get mage armor eventually, a different ability that will absorb some physical damage and it'll stop that spell pushback. Uh, because when we're getting attacked by that, like that, by multiple monsters, we really need to get our spells off to kill them as quickly as possible. We were lucky to make it out of that. I could have handled that a little better. And I don't think we can cast sheep while we're in combat. Sheep has to be preemptive. Otherwise, we could polymorph one of them. Uh, I see another raptor. And some mage royal. Oh, I'm gonna grab this raptor before this group behind me does. Oh, they wouldn't have wanted it. Human and a gnome. Higher level than us, at least. Three more raptors. A raptor hunting we will go out into the vastness of the barrens. I will say, in my opinion, the barrens is one of the most beautiful zones in the game. I know that some people find it incredibly boring. The amount of time that you're stuck here, I mean, I can see how you'd end up feeling that way. But I think it looks amazing still today. Something in me just misses these more open spaces that used to exist in the game that you see less and less of these days. I mean, we got Voldoon in Battle for Azeroth, I guess. It wasn't flat, it was rather hilly and full of structures. Um, it wasn't exactly like plains like this that stretched as far as the view distance goes. Now we found some raptors. And some that were slightly higher level. 
Also, there seems to be like a glowing nest thing here. I don't know if we can interact with that now. It doesn't seem like it. But it would probably be important for us to remember where that thing is. So we'll take a look at the map here in a minute. Oh, he broke right out of that. Well, these raptors are quite large. Hmm, some kind of raptor nest. We don't have any quests about a raptor nest. But we are just south. We're along the road, so it would be easy to find again if we have to come back to it. Like, if we turn this quest in for the heads, maybe it will send us out looking for eggs or something? We'll keep this in mind. Look, I'm skinning them. Okay. I got it. I know, we need to just buy a wand. We do. It's totally true. We have enough uh, money for it. Next time we're in a major city, I'll hit the auction house and the mage trainer, and we'll see. Uh, we can't interact with this thing yet. There's a couple of them. I see one over here, a red one, and this yellow one. We will remember that they're here, and let's just hurt back and turn these in. And we'll see if either of them chain into anything more interesting. You got rid of the raptors. Thank you. You are a mage of worth. You may have killed the raptors, but the silver they stole must be recovered. I have reports that the raptors have a large grouping of nests south of Ratchet, known as the Raptor Grounds. It is likely that they brought our stolen silver there. Go to this raptor haven and search for the stolen silver. When you find it, return it to me. Uh, we don't get anything useful from that, and that's south of Ratchet? So not the nest that we're thinking of. Obviously. Uh, Apothecary Hellbrim, I thought he had like a, f a breadcrumb. Yeah, so if we do go down to Ratchet, we might as well take that quest. That goes to Thunder Bluff, which we might be able to just take the flight point from Ogremar. I don't know if I want to go all that way out of the way yet. And where did this other quest turn in at? Snapjaw, Snapjaw Shells. Thought it was a Tauren. Oh, he's way down here. The crossroads has such a strange layout, like there's buildings all the way down here. Okay, here he is, yeah. Tonga Rune Totem. We're totally on a first name basis, Tonga and I. I just forget where he lives every time we have to turn something into him. Thank you. Studying the beast of an area can tell much about the area itself. We shall see what tale these shells tell. Please accept my gratitude for your aid, and perhaps you can use these coins. Okay, what did he say? Strange, very strange. These shells tell me much, but I fear many more questions are now raised. Okay. So, we can go see some other rune totem folks. Hamel rune totem. The shells you have brought me have a taint, one that I have never seen before. I am certain the water of the oasis is the cause and I can sense the confusion they cause this land. It is as if the land dreams and cannot awake. The Wailing Caverns must be the source of the taint. But before you go there, speak with Hamel Runetotem, the Elder Druid. I sent word to him of the happenings in the Barrens. He is wise and can offer you counsel. You will find him in Thunderbluff on the Elder Rise. Uh, the Wailing Caverns is a dungeon, which we can actually do maybe like immediately. Well, not immediately, but at this level, I think we can do it. Mirror Rune Totem. 
My clanmate, Mirrorune Totem, traveled to Silverpine so that she might aid our undead allies. Silverpine is an ailing forest, a dying forest, and it was Mira's hope to bring it new life. Perhaps the strange life found here in the Barrens can help her work in Silverpine. Take a sample of the shells you gathered and bring it to Mira in Silverpine. She is staying at the sepulcher. With luck, studying the shell will give her the insight she needs to heal that dying place. That's really cool. Um, because we could take this, uh, which by the way actually will give us a belt upgrade. And we can take that back to the Sepulchre. I do want to do Wailing Caverns, and so before I do Wailing Caverns, I will go to Thunder Bluff and pick up that quest. I'm just not going to do it immediately. Ultimately, I think the plan is to head back to Silver Pine. So it's cool that we have a little breadcrumb that takes us back there. I don't know if anything will become of that. I hope that we can see some... It would be nice to see some of those Torin revitalize the land quests in Silver Pine, because... Most of what we're doing in Silver Pine is focusing on plague and dark magic. It'd be cool to see a different twist on the zone. Uh, however, that's gray. Um, we never found this crate. <laughs> so, I mean, at this point, am I gonna find the crate? Probably not. We could head down to Ratchet, I guess. We can turn in Wharfmaster's Dizzywig, even though, even though it's gray, it's not going to yield hardly any experience for us. Let's go ahead and sell our inventory. Bags and sacks. Who doesn't love some bags and sacks? Okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a 10 slot bag <laughs> for two gold. Yeah, you've got to be absolutely kidding me with that. That is insanity, I say. Dig up silt eggs, we need that. Sell all the rest of this stuff. Hey, we're past two golds. That's that's not bad. I feel like that's pretty damn good. Hell, we could even afford a 10 slot bag if we were totally stupid. Obviously, we're not going to do that. We're going to hang on to our money. And we're going to head south here. It might be a little bit of a long run. I, I think Ratchet's over in this little area. The map has changed so much in, re in retail WoW that... The Barrens is basically two separate zones and everything has moved around a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's where Ratchet is. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah, Dustwallow Marsh is what's back here. That's a different zone entirely. Yeah, Ratchet's, Ratchet's not too far. It's going to be a little bit of a run. We could take the road, which, you know, it's not like there's a lot of threat off the road. But we'll just take the road for today. And here we are in Ratchet, which was actually closer than I thought it was. Um, I went a little ways out of the way, just like mindlessly looking for it where I thought it was at, but it's actually just down the road here, really close. And this is a neutral town, so this is a place where both Horde and Alliance players could be found. Although it looks pretty empty at the moment. There are some quests here. I don't know... If we want to get to level 19, we should probably pick some of them up. Because there, it looks like there are quite a few. We'll also grab the flight point that I saw hiding back there. Although I don't have the flight point for Ogremar, because I didn't grab it. Because hey, I'm foolish. Turn this in, even though it's not going to give us much experience. 
And then we have to think about how many of these quests we want to do. Miner's Misfortune. Being wharfmaster of a busy port like Ratchet, I keep my fingers on the pulse of information. I know all about the exchange of goods and money between here and Booty Bay. The latest bits of news I've heard is about the venture company's boulder load mine northeast of the Sludge Fen. One of the miners discovered an emerald the size of your fist. I know a few buyers who'd be interested in getting their hands on something like that, and I'd be willing to go half and half on its sale. Retrieve the cat's eye emerald from one of the venture company overseers or enforcers. Okay, I have no idea where those people are. But, okay. The sludge fen. Like, we don't know where the sludge fen is. We're going to investigate south and try to find the silicate eggs anyway. So, I guess we could take some quests here. We're going to get to level 19 here and then probably abandon most of what we have for the barons and head back to Silver Pine. That is kind of my plan at the moment. Yeah, so we could fly to the crossroads now, and that's actually, like, huge. Uh, what do you have? Samouflage. Uh, no. And no. I want to find some that we could potentially do right around here. Or, you know, in the general area. See, here's a gnome. Alliance and Horde living together peacefully because if we don't if we fight each other here The guards would attack us and annihilate us Root samples raptor horns Spider eggs these all seem good Root samples the herbs of the barons are not quite like herbs in other lands Their properties are mostly the same, but the oasis water here alters the plants. They are just slightly different I want to study those differences to see if they're exploitable if you are skilled in herbalism, which we are then gather root samples off the herbs you find in the barrens. Bring back these samples so that I may compare them with herbs from other regions. Bring eight root samples back. I... okay. I mean, we are skilled in herbalism. That's... something. Ah, uh, raptor horns. The raptors of the barrens are smarter than raptors in other lands. And I think all that smart... All that smarts is hiding in their horns. Hmm, interesting. If so, then I could grind their horns into powder and use it to make smart drinks. I could sell them for a fortune. And you can help me. Find me intact raptor horns from Sunscale Scythe Claws. They roam in the southern barrens. And if... And in the northern barrens near the borders of Ashenvale. Okay, raptor horns. I... That's better than entire heads. I have to say. I don't know about the whole smart drink thing, but goblins try to make a profit no matter what. And deep moss spider eggs. Spider eggs, omelets, are a new fad in Booty Bay. The problem is, Booty Bay's got no eggs. I smell an opportunity. In Winshire Crag and Sashir Canyon, in the Stone Tail and Mountains to the northwest, lives the deep moss spider. Bring me its eggs and I'll pay a bundle. Uh, we're not going to go to, to Stone Talon. I like Stone Talon. I'd rather go, we're going to go there on either a tauren or an orc sometime in the future. But, and we'll have to remember that this quest is here because that will be just there's tons of spiders the green spiders in stone talon and so we'll be fighting them plenty it'll be an easy turn in for us because hopefully we'll get a flight point so on another character we'll try to remember that quest uh, but for now we're going to skip it oh interesting look at the original um high elf models before they created the Blood Elf models? Wow. It looks so weird. Like, you could tell that they almost had no idea what they would want the elves to look like. It's basically pasted together. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think that's really interesting. Captain Thalo... Thalothas Brightsun. So weird looking. The Guns of Northwatch. Yet another ship from my fleet has been lost to those overzealous humans at Northwatch Hold. Those bastards must be dealt with. Their paranoia has them in a state of frenzy. Trigger happy, reckless louts are shooting at anything in their sights. Travel south along the merchant coast to the hold, to the hold and, s and lay siege to their forces. Bring me the medals of their soldiers as proof. And for the love of my fleet, slay Captain Fairmount and her overzealous cannoneers. 
Captain Thalothas, bright son of Ratchet, wants you to collect 10 Theramore medals and slay Captain Fairmount, Cannoneer Wesson, and Cannoneer Smythe. Ooh, a nice uh, leg slot upgrade. All right, and that's just down this road here, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that's something that we could work on pretty easily and still be headed south. So we could head through here, maybe cut out the back side, look for silithid eggs uh, and raptors for raptor horns, and we could probably do like three quests all at once. However, that being said, it seems like this is a good point for us to take a little break. And we will start off on the quest down here when we come back. And so let's set ourselves up for success. We're going to detract some of these. We want raptor horns. We are going to look for stolen silver. Um, we don't know where this is, but it's possible we'll come across it. And then we're going to try to do... There we go. That's our lineup for next time, we'll see. I'm not sure about Miner's Fortune, but the other four, yeah, I think we should be able to do those. Hope you guys are still enjoying the mage. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. So everyone take care, and we will see you again real soon.